That was pretty cool. We just used Codex with GPT-5 high reasoning to create a software as a service tool. OpenAI just entered the code editor space and they've entered it very, very strongly with their new Codex extension that you can install on cursor, VS Code, or any code editor that is based on VS Code. The new extension allows you to code with their new GPT-5 High and GPT-5 model, which is arguably one of the best coding models out there right now. It's very on par with Claude 4, and I'm very excited today to be reviewing it. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and install the Codex IDE extension, and then we are going to build a simple application just to test out its capabilities. So if you're excited for that, stick around for the rest of the video. So the way you install the IDE and the Codex IDE extension is exactly like how you install RuCode or Klein if you're familiar with that. Now once you've opened up your cursor you can go ahead into extensions and you can search for Codex open AI's coding agent. Now I already have it installed, so it's not very hard to install. Now, once you've installed it, you can actually log into your chat GPT account directly and it will authenticate you using your email or whatever account you've used. And then you've connected your codex extension directly to your plus membership. And you do require a plus membership or greater to be able to use codex. And from what Sam Altman has said on X, this model is very efficient and you will get a lot of usage from your $20 a month subscriptions. Now, once you've logged in and you're ready to go there are some interesting parts to this extension now the settings tab allows you to take a look at your mcps you can enable it to open on startup which i should be doing if we go to the left here we can manually add context and you know me i love adding images directly to the context because it helps with the agentic capabilities and it allows you to one shot problems and one shot new features quickly. We are going to choose agent full access. And the thing I want to build, I want to build a software as a service that allows users to generate their iPhone mobile application icons using the new Nano Banano Gemini 2.5 reasoning model. So we can do that very quickly. So I've created a base prompt here of the idea that I wanna make, but I'm gonna go into ChatGPT very quickly and I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to enhance this prompt for me better. So let's print this in and see what Codex is able to do. We've granted full agent access and we have a high reasoning effort. Okay, so we have a preliminary app. Now it didn't take 30 plus minutes because I was forgetting to click the accept button. Now we are getting some errors. So when, let's see if it can fix this error for us. Now I tried getting it an image. Unfortunately, it gave me this error. Okay, so it was able to identify the unsupported field that we were sending to Gemini 2.5. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're gonna refresh right here, localhost 3000. We are gonna take the prompt that it was given and we're gonna send it. Again, we get an error. Let's actually give it the Gemini API documentation right here. So that will help it. I like to always add some documentation when I'm suffering from a lot of problems because then your agent will be able to read through the code, see how they're generating code and basically just mimic exactly what's going on. Okay, so it was able to fix everything and add the correct system prompt and fixing the 400 error code. So now we can officially just end this session right here, NPM run dev tab over here and then you can type a prompt or edit instructions we are just going to use a logo a logo mobile app with a rhino no tech transparent background and i think this is good maybe we can do in the style of a and then i'm going to add this logo the same image tag so i've added an example image here send it and they're going to generate it we're going to wait for it and see what it produces it should be fast since this is the model um it's also fairly cheap gemini 2.5 there we go this looks incredible look at that we just created a software as a service to generate ios mobile application logos this is pretty cool and if you're wondering this is the reference image that we gave it now we can actually right click and save it but i want to see if we can change the color change the background color to be orange instead of blue. There we go. Now we have an orange image or logo. This looks super cool. It took us a total of four prompts to get this. And I think we won't be running into any more problems. We are pretty much smooth sailing from here. I'm very excited for this. I'm actually going to keep the link for this GitHub down in the description below. If you guys want to iterate and build over this, I'm going to open source this project. Let me know in the comment section below or on Twitter. You can find me on X or Twitter in the description down below. 
communicate with me. Tell me if you build something pretty cool. But that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. You could be watching anything right now and you decided to watch me. So yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you want to see more videos that I try to, you know, produce on a weekly basis. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.